Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Q&A. We go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and tech and answer your questions live. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Now, sorry for the delay, guys. If you have been keeping up with everything that I've been going through over the past week or so, um, I do not have my current uh, main laptop. Uh, I am working off of my old one um, that I was about to get ready to sell, had to reinstall software, had to do all that kind of fun stuff to get it back up to snuff. And it had issues. I had to reauthorize YouTube and everything again, all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, sorry for the delay, but now we are going to get into a little bit of a quick news and then, since there isn't that much news today, I decided to get started on the best tech of 2022. Uh, so I thought it was a, be a fun time to do that, just because these are going to be my favorite tech items. So obviously, it's not going to be for everyone. But if you uh, do have some favorite tech, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will be sharing with you my top 10 tech uh, devices of 2022. These are the ones that I really loved using. Uh, personally, no ad sponsor or anything like that. These are just the ones that I really love the most. All right, guys, so let's get started. So first up, we have some of the news. And uh, the big news today is uh, going to be about the S23. And that new uh, Qualcomm chipset is going to be really good. Now, we already talked about how a couple weeks ago that the uh, Qualcomm uh, 8 Gen 2 is going to even be faster in multi-core than the current iPhone uh, processor, um, than the Bionic A16. So Apple always having the superiority actually won't be at least for the beginning of the year until Apple probably comes out with their new one, the A17. Uh, but basically it's just gonna be something that is, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, however, the big thing is that uh, now comparing to the Tensor chip, it is going to be interesting to see how it goes. Now, benchmarks aren't everything. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, Juan Carlos Bagnell, if you're not following him on some gadget guy, go ahead and check him out, did a really great video on how actually the Tensor processor beat the Qualcomm uh, Gen 8 uh, Plus, uh, or yeah, sorry, Snapdragon 8 plus gen one i hate their new naming scheme i really do um that they did that and it actually beat it um in terms of video editing so it does always depend on what it actually you go up against but let's just say you know when it comes to the gen 2 we are getting some uh superior numbers uh for sure because uh the gen 2 is clocking in at over, uh, or sorry, with the um, eight plus uh, was 4,000 compared to 1,300. Uh, but now we are even getting higher up to 5,000 and 1,500. When comparing that to the pixel, uh, it just, it's it's very a huge difference in terms of speed, uh, not only for single core, but definitely in multi-core. I mean, 5,000, uh, or close to it basically is a really big difference in comparison to the Pixel. So we'll have to see how it goes and if it really is that good at multitasking. Also, how many apps will actually take advantage of it? That's the big thing that is always the, you know, we never really see. Are apps actually taking advantage of the multi-core or are they just mostly with single core? All right, then we also have some other updates on the S23 Ultra and the S23, and that is that these models are going to be shooting in 8K at 30 frames per second, besides just the 24 frames per second. So that is uh, courtesy of Ice Universe, and yeah, I mean, good for it. I, again, uh, would agree that I think, uh, you know, 4K at 60 hertz or 4K at 120 hertz is going to be better. Um, even still in low light, I've typically go 1080p 60 just because in low light, it's typically been better overall. Uh, but just depending on how you're shooting off of the S series, um, I will say I like the pixel a little bit more for 4k at 60, but then at 1080 60, uh, the, uh, Samsung does better. So yeah, just my two cents on that. 
And then for the last bit of news before we get to the top 10 uh, best tech of the year, and that is going to be Huawei actually did something very surprising, and they signed a partnership uh, with Oppo for a cross-platform licensing agreement. Now, the reason why that's so interesting is because we've only seen this once, uh, I believe, uh, in the tech industry, uh, at least in the mobile industry, and that was with Apple and HTC. Now, if you don't remember, that was because of a lawsuit whole thing that happened and all these uh, things happened basically. Um, but basically in order for HTC to sell in the US, they did like a swap patent thing. Um, and then basically uh, HTC would be paying Apple for some stuff and then uh, Apple could use any of HTC stuff. This was a while ago, obviously. This was back in like the M7 series days. So it's been a while uh, since that happened. But the reason why I think this happened is simply because of this. Um, Huawei really, quite frankly, um, has some really good 5G patent technology. They were one of the biggest companies uh, behind Samsung, I want to say. They patented 5G in a big way. And really, overall, that was uh, something that Huawei can is struggling to make as much money as they were when they were on the rise. So this allows them to make money off of Oppo and Oppo to use their 5G patents but Oppo can still sell more easily overseas than Huawei can, at least for now. So let's wait and see how it goes. Uh, I think it, it is a big thing that, you know, if Oppo ever gets flagged or if Xiaomi ever gets flagged, it's going to be interesting if uh, what happened to Huawei will happen to another company. All right. Now, before we get started on the top 10 uh, must, uh, my favorite tech of uh, 2022, I just wanted to go ahead and reference the chat. Uh, R. Rawson, thank you so much for the super chat donation, man. I always do appreciate it. Really, uh, just always such a thanks for any kind of uh, super chat. Um, the Mopar guy. Uh, wait. Oh, that's your name now, uh, Mopar guy. Um, let's see. Uh, how is everything going, everyone? Um any big plans for 2023? Um, yeah, hopefully his fishing uh, kitchen is clean. Um, I do not know. I will know by the end of this week if my kitchen is finally clean. Uh, my kitchen has been through uh, renovations for the last uh, three months now. Uh, I want to say it's been going on three months. So yeah, it's been it's been a long time. Uh, we finally got countertops. We have a kitchen sink and we have a dishwasher. Uh, we have a microwave, um, and fridge and laundry. So we have those things. Uh, the big two is, uh, the cooking aspect. Uh, we do not have a oven or a stove, uh, yet working because of gas and electric. Uh, so those are the big two that, uh, I am missing right now, which will determine if I get to have Christmas at my house or at, uh, if we have to go over our relative's house. So it'll be interesting to see. So yeah, um, almost there. But uh, still not out of the words yet. Um, really can't wait to show you guys, though. I'm hoping to do a video uh, with, um, uh, hopefully, uh, going to talk to Samsung, seeing if they will are interested in sponsoring. Uh, but basically, on their uh, bespoke appliances, I have an amazing new like uh, fridge, dishwasher, and definitely the washer and dryer. Uh, uh, their bespoke edition, so it's the latest and greatest uh, tech that Samsung has to offer. All of them have Wi-Fi built in. All of them have smart electronics into it. So it really is uh, awesome for that. Plus, I think it looks pretty cool. Me and my wife designed it, and I think it came out looking very nice, very, uh, very presentable. And I just think, of course, like if we sell, I think this kitchen will make it uh, profitable, basically. Uh, good morning from London. Uh, now, can you recommend a laptop uh, that ticks the boxes? Read touchscreen, uh, SD card slot, uh, good speakers, wireless charging pad, and feasible for editing. Much appreciated. Um, I don't know if I can get you one that has a wireless charging pad. Um, I can only think of maybe one or two that have ever done that on a, on a laptop. So it's not very common per se. Um, and feasible for editing. Uh, let me know if it's video editing or photo editing. And I'll get to that question after I go through my top 10 uh, tech. All right, let's get to uh, the top 10 tech according to me um, for this year. So let's go ahead and see 
all the top tech that I would consider for 2022 that were my favorite tech. And sorry, kind of lost my mouse here. I don't know why my mouse isn't there, but there we go. Okay, so first bit of tech is going to be the S22 Ultra. I truly miss this one, and when it comes down to my favorite smartphone of the year, it's different from what I currently have. I currently have the Fold 4, and I'm very happy with this as a multimedia device, but I truly do miss the battery life, the camera, and the S Pen um, in my S22 Ultra, so it has to be the best tech of the year for me in terms of a smartphone. It just is the one. And the reason why this was not only easy for those three things, and the battery life I've heard mixed things about, it was perfect when I was using it, but obviously after the six months, you kind of really get to know how the battery life is. Um, and I will say that I haven't heard as good things as the Fold in terms of battery life. Uh, but still, I will say that, I mean, it was good while I had it. So I can only go by my own experience. Uh, I have heard others say that it's not as good anymore uh, after six months. So I understand that. But having the S Pen built in and definitely that camera, I miss so much. Now, uh, I will say the reason why this is the best tech for me and maybe not for everyone else or why I got the Fold to begin with was only because the only reason I was able to get the Fold 4 was because of the second best tech of 2022, and that is the Pixel 7 Pro. This phone was a great substitute for the camera quality and video quality for the first time uh, compared to the S22 Ultra. Typically, I um, really always love the photos that the Pixel took, but not always the video quality. Uh, this one, I will say, is the first year that I will say the Pixel 7 Pro it was really surprising to me when it comes to video quality. Mm -hmm. Photo quality is always top notch. I, you know, it was always a trade off uh, with that. But when it came to um, the video quality, I was very happy uh, with how it increased this year. So very, very happy uh, with that, I will say. So overall, I was able to record video of like my daughter's cheerleading uh, with this phone and it wasn't close. You know, I had to zoom in five times and the videos came out pretty good. So I I'm very happy with that. And I think obviously for the price difference, this might be better for a lot of people. $750 versus $1,000 is a $250 difference. So if that is going to be better for you, then you maybe you might want to pick this one up instead of the S22 Ultra. All right, now some other tech. Now this one is a big favorite of mine because I am literally used it right before the video. I took them off because of the reflection, but these are my daily prescription glasses and they do have smart technology in there and these are called the Soundcore Frames. So these ones I really love. I, I like the way they look, first of all, and I just love having Bluetooth connected at all times, and it's really great to, for taking calls, for listening to music, watching a YouTube video, just really quickly, simple and easy. It's not the loudest thing ever. Like if I'm outside and I'm in a lot of traffic, like turning it up to 100%, it'll still be, I can kind of hear it depending on what's playing. Music can you can play comfortably, but if, if you're listening to like a podcast, you can't hear it at 100% if there's a lot of traffic. If you're just outside or even in a work environment though, man, you could have these at like about 50, 70% watch your videos, all that kind of stuff. Very simple and easy. And again, I just love anytime anyone calls, I, I sometimes I instinctively go like this, but then I'm like, oh wait, no, I can just totally, I have them right here. I'm good. Uh, so that is something else that I really do love. But these, I, I literally use every time that I don't have my contacts in. And right now they're on sale for more than half off at $89.99. You get everything, uh, not only having the glasses themselves, but you have, um, you know, sunglasses and you can uh, swap them out. And this is how easy it is to swap them out. This is why I would choose this over, you know, Bose, over all the other smart glasses. This is how easy it is to swap it out. You just push it and that's it. And you put these onto another pair. So if I wanted to rock these with sunglasses, I can. 
Very simple, very easy to do. More than 50% off right now. A tech that I, again, use every time I don't wear contacts, I rock those. I love them. The only thing I will say is I, I really do hope that the frames too, you know, whenever Soundcore releases them, if, if they found this to be a profitable product, I really do hope that they do better battery life. Because right now I am every night doing it uh, about at 8 p.m., I would say, if I listen to a lot of music or take a lot of calls. Um, so I would wish for, you know, a two day battery life. That would be perfect, especially since it is a proprietary charger. So, yeah. All right. Next bit of tech is going to be the best charging station by far. So I went over this one. I talked about recently in my, uh, cruise, I did a challenge where I only use anchor chargers uh, for all this time period. And I just went to Las Vegas, uh, really quickly, uh, for my, um, for a cheerleading event. And it was just so awesome to have this yet again. And it, it's the best, like having two wall outlets right here, having two type C chargers that are a hundred Watts and two USB A's for whatever, like charging my sunglasses or charging older tech, like micro USB, whatever I need to, everything is in here. I can charge laptops with this. I can charge tablets with this, smartphones, everything I need to all with this. It's a uh, normal price is 99 bucks. So it's only five bucks off right now. I have seen it go as cheap as uh, 80 bucks. So if you want to wait for a deal, by all means, wait and just kind of save it. Uh, I always say, you know, check with uh, Honey for price drops, all that kind of stuff. Um, even just add it to your cart and then you can see later uh, if it goes on sale. But this is by far the best charger to take on trips with you. It's five feet, so you get that long cable. I usually kind of plug it behind um, where a light is. Uh, so basically, you know, where a light plug into the wall and then you have a power strip right there. You can plug in everything you need to. Absolutely love it. All right, then we have some earbuds. Now, I, I almost went with the, uh, with the Liberty uh, 4s because those are some really good ones too from Soundcore. Really did like it, but um, I, I really love their audio quality. I would say their audio quality is better than these, but for my money, every single year so far at the top of my list for earbuds, and I finally did get the Sonys, so I'll be putting this to the test because I know everyone's always like, what about the Sonys? I got the Sony M4, so I'll be trying those soon. But the Jabra 7 Pros have stayed at the top of my list for earbuds. They're the, literally the earbuds that I have always in my pocket because they compare to two devices. Whatever two devices you want, you don't have to download an app. You can just pair to two devices from a laptop and a smartphone, from a tablet and a laptop, from uh, two smartphones at the same time. You can pair it to two devices and it just works. It just works at the same time. That is something that I swear if every, like these are, you know, good sound quality, not the best. Good sound quality. It's a great sound quality, I would say, but not the best. I would say Soundcore had a better sound quality overall. Uh, good uh, phone calls, uh, much better. I would say, I would say towards great, not the best again, but great phone call quality, really good. But man, the biggest thing, two devices at the same time is so good. They're on sale again for 50% off right now. Um, and yeah, if, if I had to, again, always pitch earbuds, uh, these would always be the ones to go. And for me, they fit the best in my ears. They, they have always just fit so easily in my ears. They have all these adjustable ear chips and everything like that, but these just fit so well for me. All right, next product. Uh, this one I just pointed out, and now I only saw the renewed version on Amazon. Um, you can obviously still get it new, but just probably sold out right now. Again, all the sales for Black Friday and everything. Uh, but the LG... Uh, X Boom Go. This one that I have is the PL2. This is the actual uh, speaker that I take on me to trips. So like this one has been my go-to one ever since I got it at the beginning of last or at the end of last year, I think it was. Um, but I took it on my first trip at CES last year. And then all throughout this year of traveling, I, I think I did like five trips this year of traveling. Um, this was always in my bag. 
and really loud sound quality for its size. Uh, really like it, it for a hotel, this will fill it up. This will fill up a hotel room just fine. Uh, so yeah, I think if you're traveling again, uh, like I have been this year, this was one that I, I really love that I always had with me. And when I was traveling, great sound quality, very loud, boom sound 33 bucks for the renewed version. I think it normally was 50 bucks for the brand new model. So good deal for renewed if you want to go renewed. Uh, but yeah, awesome, awesome quality. All right, this one is the product that I'm literally using right now to do what I'm doing. To talk to you guys right now, I'm using this very camera. Now, I got two new cameras at the beginning. I want to say it was at the beginning of the year or at the end of last year. I'm going to do a little water break real quick. Now, um, this camera has been with me, I want to say, for slightly over a year. I think it was slightly over a year. But it is just the best camera. It was sold out for uh, almost half the year because a lot of new people were starting YouTube channels. And this is just the best camera possible for anyone starting a YouTube channel. Uh, for one, you can just plug it in through USB and it works as a webcam. That's how I'm talking to you right now is just with that. Um, so it's connected as a webcam and it works great. It can shoot up to 4K at 30 or what I usually shoot at 1080p at 60. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a really good quality. When you do hook it up as a webcam, I do want to warn you, it does go 720 at 60. So that is going to be a downgrade. But still, for just being able to do a high quality webcam, perfect bokeh, you know, if I wanted to get out of frame put this up there, bam, you can see it very clearly, very easily. Boom. It's just, it's really well off. And I can even do like showcase mode where a product will override my face, but Sony has such a good, um, eye tracking technology that I'll always be in focus if I don't turn that on. So really, really good camera. Um, again, this is the reason why I chose this over the higher end camera that I have, which is the Sony a seven C the a seven C is a better quality camera, but this one for the price and, uh, for how much easy it is to like attach to everything and do everything. I have to say this one was just like, I, my next camera would be an upgrade of this camera. If Sony releases a new camera and this one in April or September of next year, I will buy it because that is the camera I think that would be really great and a lot of people could use uh, to start their own YouTube channel. You buy this, you buy some lenses, and you have everything you need. All right. Then we have the laptop. So, again, my laptop, uh, unfortunately, went bad. I'm using my old laptop. But while I had this laptop, it was absolutely amazing. Um, so this is the laptop that I just recently bought. Uh, I did buy it at Best Buy, so it's a slightly different model, uh, than this one, but this one is, uh, the Asus Zephyrus G15. And one of the reasons why I like it is because, yeah, this one does have a two. You have two, uh, Thunderbolt 4 cables right here, which will allow you to charge the laptop through type C. That was really important to me because it meant that I did not have to carry a big brick with me anymore. Um, and it's very lightweight, actually, for its size. Uh, for having a 15.4 inch, it was under um, 5 pounds. I think it was like 4.19 pounds. So it was pretty light uh, for a 15 inch. And that I love, too, just because, again, it's everyday tech carry. And yet it had two amazing pieces of hardware. And that was the Ryzen 9 6900HS, uh, which is a very powerful CPU, but a very energy efficient one. I'm able to do video editing for four to five hours, whereas the laptop I'm using now, which was an MSI Raider, had a 10th gen i7, obviously older, but this one, I could only last about an hour and a half of actually doing video editing. So being able to more than five times that almost, um, really four times it, uh, it really just showed how much better like the battery life was uh, and not only being power efficient and uh, very, very fast. 
had an RTX 3060, which was fine for what I need to do for video editing. It may not be as fast as like a 3070 Ti, which I almost got, but it really just suited my needs. Now this one has the 40 gig of RAM upgrade. The model that I bought had 16 gigs of RAM and I upgraded it to 40. Um, and then also this has 512 NVMe, which is the same that I think mine came with. Uh, but I upgraded that to four terabytes because I obviously I need a lot of storage for uh, editing. So yeah, uh, mine I ended up getting for a thousand two hundred I think after like a deal Black Friday all that kind of or not Black Friday but it was like a Labor Day uh, deal um, with it. So this one is more expensive. Again, the one the model I got was similar to this, but I got it at Best Buy, um, and uh, obviously the RAM is probably driving up the price of this one. Uh, but yeah, if you search for Best Buy ROG G15 or uh, like Newegg, they will have different models of this one. But this uh, mod this series is one I got for that reason. All right, two more products. And make sure you are asking those questions in the comment section. If you want to know anything about these products, I'm more than happy to talk to you about them. And I will look for the laptop you were talking about with for video editing, uh, SD card slot, good speaker, all of that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, this next one is from Sure, and it is the microphone that I am using right now. So this one is the Sure M7 microphone, and it allows me to do a huge upgrade to my audio quality. I uh, started using this, I think, again, at the end of last year, the beginning of this year, and it was just awesome. Like, I think it was the beginning of this year. Um, it was an awesome upgrade to my audio quality that really just showed how much better uh you know a um, mic like this could be and this is the entry level version of the higher end model that every podcaster uses uh but i would say that this is by far what anyone could get for a youtube channel and have amazing audio quality. This is going to be better than most headsets. So if you if you're using a headset microphone, this will be better than it. It's just going to be clear, and you do have to have it kind of close, so it's just off screen. And as you can see, this is about the distance that I use it at. Uh, but if you do that, you will have an amazing quality, and it's going to really be able to get everything you need um, with just again really good quality microphone. Very clear, cancels out a lot. I have two fans going on right now and most people can't hear it. So it's always just really good quality microphone. And finally, I have the mics that I use on the go and that is the DJI mic. So the DJI mic is a nice little set that is just really awesome. And basically what they did is they took what every other microphone company did, mainly Rode, uh, kind of came up with a lot of the stuff, and improved upon it. So this mic set is one receiver, one receiver, and two regular tube mics, so very easy. But it gives the option to connect to 3.5 millimeter for like a... A camera like this or USB type C or lightning cable so basically this mic is for every device you could use to record so yeah this this microphone setup little awesome setup uh, the batteries on these mics last about four or five hours but then you can just put it back in the case and the case recharges them because the case has a battery pack of its own they, they literally took everything that everyone else was doing and just improved upon it. This is the mic that I use when I'm not on this camera and I'm on my primary camera over there. This is the mic that I use. So yeah, it's it's just really good quality. I, I can't recommend these mics enough for anyone that does uh, wants to do vlogging or any kind of video recording um, and they want to do it on the go. This is the microphone set to do no matter what camera you're using. Because if you're using a 3.5 millimeter camera like the one I have, it can be used for it. If you're using an Android device to record your video, you can use it. If you're using an iPhone to record your video, you can use it. So literally you can use this for any kind of recording you want and bam, it is ready to go. So it's just really awesome for that reason and I highly recommend it for that reason. So yeah, awesome. This is my go-to mic uh, for when I'm traveling. It's the one I'm going to be using at CES, so really good quality. 
All right, guys. Um, those are all the products uh, we had talk about. Do you have any questions about any of them? Let me know in the comments section. And I did have someone ask me about um, a laptop uh, for th their buying needs. Now, I... Full disclosure, I work for Newegg, do their social media stuff, and a lot of their uh, videos. And a video that I recently did of theirs was uh, actually a laptop finder. So for me, I really did mean it when I say this, uh, and that is this laptop finder is probably the easiest way to find out whatever you're looking for in terms of a product. So... The reason I like it is they fine tune it so much more than every other website, including Best Buy, including uh, definitely better than Amazon. I really actually can't stand Amazon in terms of the way they do theirs. Um, it's just, it's so hard to find anything you're looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, go through the things that you were looking for. So you want an SD card slot. You want to be able to do video editing. You, uh, again, I don't know if I'll get that wireless charging pad. I'm just gonna kind of ignore that one for now, but let's go ahead and get some of those other things. So first off, uh, having a touch screen is gonna narrow it down a lot. Um, I will tell you too, most things that can video edit do not have touch screen. So that is, uh, just so you know, going to make it a, a very much a narrow field. Uh, in terms of uh, what you're looking for. Um, now, let me look at, we want definitely to have the graphic type be dedicated because you want to have a um, video editing uh, capability um, and currently have a Samsung Flex, hence the wireless charging pad bonus. Yes, I understand. All right, so let's go with those two things. Um, now let's see if we can actually find, um, the other thing you were looking for an SD card slot. Oh no, that's, that's memory. That's a little bit different from SD card. Um, I don't know if they will have that actually. They have USB style weight. So they don't necessarily put an SD card slot. So I'll have to kind of narrow that down myself. Um, and then let's see. Oof. So we pretty much have NVIDIA. Um, let's go ahead and see which NVIDIAs we can do. I'm going to go with the lowest one at a 3050 Ti because that is the uh, lowest one I would probably recommend. Um, okay. And let's go for lowest price, just because I always try to do that. All right, so we have that one. So this is the first one. Let's see, 3050 Ti. Okay, they go up quick. Um. And again, just because of that touch screen, like I, I will tell you right now, like this goes up to 2000 pretty quickly. You can get better for sure for under 2000. But if you want a touch screen, that is what's going to drive the price up. All right. Um, I mean, Ooh, sorry, trying to find the best deal one for you. The 12th gen is totally worth it. So I would go with this one actually. Okay. So this is a big price difference. Flat out gonna say that. But these are the two that stand out to me right away. So this one has um, a Ryzen 7 5800. Uh, that's gonna be really good uh, in terms of the um, CPU quality. And, uh, this one has an RTX 3050 Ti, which is again, the entry level I would start off with for video editing. This can do good video editing, by the way, it, it really can. Uh, I would go with the Ti over the standard 3050 just because it's better for longevity. 16 gigs of Ram is perfectly fine. I would upgrade to 32 later. 
and you do have a one terabyte uh, SSD and it does even have your SD card slot right there. Bam. So you pretty much have everything you're looking for. Uh, this one is a thousand bucks. So good for that. Uh, I will go ahead and send you a link for that. Hold on a second. It'll take a second because I have to shorten the link uh, for YouTube on here. Um, I'll send you a link in a second. And the other one is this one, the MSI Laptop Creator Series. Uh, this one has an RTX 3060 um, and a 12th gen i7. So the CPU is a little bit better, um, but definitely uh, the RTX 3060 is, again, the laptop I'm using to edit with. Um, one terabyte NVMe, 16 gigs of RAM, 16 inch touchscreen. This is a creator series. This is pretty much what this is made for. Um, and let's see. Oh, the only thing is, I don't know if this has the SD card slot. I think this one does not. It has a micro. Okay. So that one's out. Um, let's see. I mean, this one's going to be really good. This one is uh, the Asus uh, Zen, phone, uh, Zen Pro, which my friend has. He loves it, but I do not know. I'm looking for the SD card. Again, That was I knew that was going to be the thing that was going to be hard to get. Um, and it doesn't even look like it has it in the back, which was what I was hoping. No, this does not have a micro, actually. Or a full one. Ugh. That SD card, man, I'm telling you, that's that's what's gonna be more tricky and difficult. Um I will that's gonna be the, the thing that trips you up here because it definitely is going to be the hardest part to find uh having an SD card slot. I know that might not seem like it, like, oh man, why is that gonna be? But it's just it's something that is more rare. HDMI. Much appreciated. Micro SD works too. Uh, will it ship to UK? Uh, love touchscreen. Can't go non. <laughs> uh, no, I got you. Uh, well, I mean, micro, S micro SD one, the MSI one had it too. Uh, and uh, Newegg does ship to the UK, but it's a different store. So the pricing might be different. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to look at every single one for you. So this one's a micro, it's an MSI 3050 Ti, 12th gen i7. Uh, so the 12th gen is a little bit better, uh, in terms of this model, but this one has an OLED display. Honestly, best bang for the buck, I would say is this one for sure. Uh, and yeah, I'll send you a link, uh, and it'll, it'll convert it to the UK site. Um, if that one is available. So yeah. All right. Let me get to your guys' other questions now while I set this link up. Um, and whose gift are you looking forward to giving the most? Um, Let's see. My wife already knows what she's getting because she told me what to get. Uh, it was a very expensive hair thing. Uh, dryer thing. I don't know if it makes it curly straight. It does, it does all the things, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so that one, um, huh, who, who's, whose gift am I excited about giving the most? Um, trying to think, uh, my daughter's already got, I think she'll like it, but I'm not positive. So I'm, I'm not as confident on that one. Um, what else? Who else is? Who else's gift am I really excited about? Sorry, my screen just went dark. I hate it when it does this. Um, hello, wife. My wife does always know what she wants. That's true. Um. Uh, 
All right, and this one is for the laptop. Hopefully that works for you. Let me know if it doesn't, if the link doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I just don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm definitely getting a bunch of people gifts, but I'm just not sure um, which one is the one that I am looking forward to the most. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, giving my mother-in-law uh, the Pixel 7 Pro. Um Yeah, I don't know. I'm just given a couple different gifts. Uh, I just, I, I don't know which one. My son, I have a lot of gifts for him that. So I'm just gonna give him a few. Uh, we we we're on this like potty training thing where we give him a gift. So I like I have small gifts and I have big gifts. Uh, so I'm just gonna give him some of the big gifts. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. One is like a arcade machine, uh, kind of thing. So that I'm I'm hoping he likes that one. So yeah, th that'll probably be the most exciting exciting one for sure uh if he likes it if he doesn't then it's just like oh well fine dad i will play with it <laughs> uh but yeah um speaking of sound cord, do those frame glasses uh have bone conduction speaker no no the best bone conduction speaker is still uh the shocks so these are the shocks open run earbuds uh they are the uh best one i would say for bone conduction so if you do want bone conduction these are uh the best ones um for sure and uh i've had uh mixed things with their call quality but their sound quality is just really awesome and if you don't like something in your ear those are really good um let me find them for you just so i can show you i will find them shocks open run pro or the model i have and these are just the best quality in terms of uh bone conduction um the uh frames do not they're just they have microphones they have four microphones on them so they're good quality like i haven't had anyone really complain uh so much about it but really good for sure um, do you know the top of your head if there are any laptops still available on the internet with optical drive Blu-ray? Um, none that I would say are really like, <laughs> not, I, I would say, uh, with an optical drive, yes, they do exist, but they're very rare. Um, I would actually go back to what I was looking for earlier. So let me reset. I'd be very interested for that to see. So wiped it out. Optical drive. Yes. So yeah, they do exist. Um, oh, wow. These are old. So yeah. But oh my God. These are like. I'm curious how new of um, how new of a computer you can get. Oh wow! Yeah, I I mean there I don't know if there's one I would recommend <laughs> uh, because yeah, effectively they just went out a long time ago. Um, a more uh, probably a better overall thing for you. I'm just trying to see the most expensive one. I mean, to get a sixth generation i5, I wouldn't spend this kind of money. Like, I would r recommend um, an external Blu ray drive. And um, if you want a Blu-ray specifically, you said Blu-ray, so I'm guessing you want Blu-ray. If not, I mean, external DVD drives are very inexpensive, like 25 bucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, you can get this one. I would always get shipped by Newegg if you're shopping off of Newegg or obviously you can go to Amazon or whichever one. 
But yeah, this one's a hundred bucks. It does Blu-rays. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at the price difference between these two. I'm not sure why this one is cheaper. WB. I would need to look more into it. But I mean, a hundred bucks or eighty-nine bucks. I mean, this looks fine for everything. So yeah, I would get something like this, and you know, external Blu-ray player. You can even let's see, external Blu-ray. Go ahead and copy that in here. Just see if there's another one. LG was the one that like I think my wife got oh, years ago. But yeah, same price. So yeah same price for it external you just connect it through usb and you have that you do have to take it on the go for you so it's not always obviously as convenient or as easy but just definitely the better way to go all right um what would be the best uh z fold charger or stand uh oh car charger or stand uh car charger would i I still love this one a lot. I, I, I've been meaning to do the video for this one. Uh, this one is the official Samsung wireless car charger. Um, let me see if I can find that for you. Official Samsung wireless car charger. Um, yeah. And it's pretty inexpensive. 37 bucks right now. So this one, now the downside about this one, depending on your car, it only does vent. So this one, it connects uh, from a vent mount. Let me know if that'll work for you. If not, I can find another one. Um, for a wireless uh, charger in general though, um, let's see, Samsung, try. Trio wireless charger. Um, this is the one that I would probably uh, recommend anyone would buy. I'm trying to see if there's another one. Let me see. Yeah, they just don't have the one that I used to. Oh, well, there it is, actually. Never mind. Um, so these are the two chargers I would recommend. This one I, I take on every trip with me as well, just because it charges three devices. So I can have a charge my smartphone, my second smartphone, and my watch. So I literally have this charge everything I needed to at night. It can also charge my earbuds, uh, but this one is the one that would work. Vents are a no-go, got it. Okay, I'll, I'll find you another one. And then this one, is the one that I have by my bedside. The reason I like it is just because it stands up. And again, this is Samsung's version, so it will be the fastest wireless charging you can get. So those will be the two regular wireless chargers. And I have uh, the Fold for both of them, and they both work. So tested myself. Fold 4 works for them. Um, this may sound funny, but I have a hard time finding a Galaxy S2 uh, Ultra 5G only seen the video on YouTube for it. Um, I don't have the 5G model. I just didn't see the need for 5G for what I needed it for. So I have the non 5G version Wi-Fi. Obviously, very easy to get that one. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you can get that one. Hold on one second. Let me find out another wireless car charger, and then I will go with that. So, um. So the, oh, yeah, see, so the other one I would typically recommend is the iAudi, but this one um, that I have also had for a while uh, does not do um, an open face. Uh, so this one will do your fold perfectly like this wireless charging, which I, I put it in my wife's car. I used it for this recent trip when we had to travel. Works perfect for that. Does not work this way. So if you want to mount your phone like this, let me know and I'll try to find something else. But this one is the iAudi. 
is that one. All right. Um, but now let me see. Uh, so a galaxy. T I'm not sure to be honest if it's not here. Galaxy tab ultra five G. 2G. Um, interesting. I see what you're saying. So, like, you can find the 8 plus 5G, or you can find the Ultra LTE, but not 5G. Yeah. Um,. At least online with a quick search, I could only find that one. What about Samsung's own website? Here, hold on one second, just in case I have to sign in. Uh, sorry, it's having me try to sign in and it's giving an error. Uh, let me just go back to this. Okay, never mind. I need to sign in. I'll sign in with another account just so I don't have to worry about that. Oh my god. It has to text me. All right. Let's see. I'm thinking about going on 50 first date, 10 hint. Actually, wait, I think I do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, wait, yeah. Yes, since this is my old laptop, I have the 50 first date questions. So yeah, if you haven't checked out our app, 50 first date questions is available on Android or iOS. You can download the game and play it. it. It's you ask them questions, they ask you questions and you find out if you're compatible. If you are not compatible with this game, then you guys should not be married. I'm just saying, or not be with them. It's it's destiny, just saying. 50 first date questions, great game to have. Thank you for the plug. Um, uh, yes. So it's been a while since cool things uh, mentioned um, about any movies that came out or coming out. Uh, I am going to see Avatar uh, Way of Water this week. Uh, I'm really curious on how it will do. Uh, yeah, I'm just very curious to see how this um, movie is going to be. You know, it's the first time I'm going to see a movie in 3D in so long. Just been so many years since I have seen a movie in th uh, 3D. So very curious to see how it'll be. I typically do hate 3D. Uh, but I will admit that the first one was uh, the one that was the best one to do it. So just uh, letting you know, uh, looked up. And as of right now, even Samsung's own website does not have it. So... I'm not sure if it's a specific carrier that might carry the Ultra uh, 5G model, maybe like T-Mobile or Verizon or whatever carrier they have a partner with, but it is not on uh, the main one for sure. Uh, but that one is going to be the one that I am about to see uh, recently. You know, I saw Wakanda Forever. I saw uh, The Menu, which was a smaller movie that was really good, but kind of weird at the same time. Um, what else have I seen? Uh, I'm going to see Puss in Boots. Uh, that's another one that I'm going to see the week after. And those are going to be the movies for the end of the year that I'm going to see that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, those are all the movies I can think of that I'm uh, about to see or going to see or will see kind of thing. Um, let's see. Funny thing is that 51st, uh, that 50 Dates, wife and I were married 28 years ago. 
play the game and I realized how much she really didn't know me. <laughs> and she, uh, and then she left a few weeks later. No, no, lol. That, I'm guessing that's a total joke. I'm hoping that's a total joke. I do not want to be responsible for anything like that. Uh, YouTube tech guy is not responsible for any breakups that might occur after playing the game. Um, so yeah. Ricky is not responsible. <laughs> Thank you, quite some Ricky is not responsible for creating uh create for the creation of a relationship or the lack of thereof caused by fifty first day questions. There you go. Thank you. Saw Wakanda Forever very emotional. Absolutely, man. It was uh, the so I saw Wakanda Forever twice in theaters. Uh, one time with my friends and a second time with my wife because you know babysitting's hard to get. And she hit me uh, immediately uh, as soon as the um. It, it's it's at the very beginning of a movie um she you start like i think it's within the first five minutes there's a scene where it's quiet and anyone that you know has human emotion attachment i feel like will cry it, it's like another up where like you see this and you, you're gonna cry because it's just it, it's just right there wow like so crazy um but yeah so uh, yeah, something just very emotional for sure. Uh, but it just gets you, and then and then it ends that way too. It ends with people crying. Uh, but like I didn't warn her. <laughs> it was the thing she hit me for. Like, how could you not warn me that was gonna happen? I'm like, I didn't want to, you know, spoil or ruin anything. And just like you know, it's fun to make sure that yeah, it kind of came naturally. Uh, no, it's not your fault. But you are right. If you're not compatible in the game you're probably not compatible in life it's okay i'm happy wow david that um i'm glad you're happy now or happier hopefully that is crazy man that is absolutely crazy like uh you know me and my wife played in the beginning of our relationship it was one of our first dates um and it did help me you know find out i was compatible and i i, I literally created that game because it was like for me, the reason I created 50 First Date Questions was because I, you know, I did online dating and I, and, you know, some people are comfortable with icebreakers, some people are comfortable with talking, and some people aren't really good at conversations. Um, so whenever I wanted to kind of like break the ice and found an easy way to do it, I had playing cards. I had like actual playing cards that I created this deck with. Um, and it was always great for an icebreaker. Like you can find out so much about a person. Um, and it was just really an interesting yeah game that i uh so yeah it's like i i was able to tell if i was compatible with a girl with it because there was several ones where it had answers that i did not like and that we just didn't go well so it was just like it's interesting to see on a whole different kind of scale though but yeah um i mean i i hope it's for the best sorry man yeah, i just just i wanted to let you know since you told me the same person i wanted to let you know this was my experience, the reason why I created it, and the, the whole thing, just because, again, I, I online dated, it was easy icebreaker, and it was a really just, you know, fun. It was like a fun little thing and everything like that, and the, you know, the whole truth or dare aspect on some of the questions and everything like that, it's just, it can be really fun. So, yeah, when, when it's with the right partner, I guess. Um, yeah, that's, that's just crazy. Wow. Um, all right, uh, let's see, what's next? Um... Yeah, guys, uh, so CES is coming. I am fully uh, going to be integrated in that. I mean, there's just so much content, so many things. Uh, because of my partnership with Newegg, I'm going to be getting some private, uh, you know, stuff uh, to show you guys this year when it comes to like more like laptops and uh, from these brands. You know, there's going to be new, definitely new tech. Uh, that's coming out that you know i've not been told anything about but i can pretty much guess we're going to see new cpus and gpus on laptops uh coming this year so very happy about that um those will probably be announced at ces um samsung you know we're probably going to get of course new tvs new appliances all that kind of fun stuff um samsung will typically release from spring to summer all the products they announce uh, with the no, actually, I was gonna say with the exception, but no, it typically comes in spring too. The new A series will probably be announced there too. If not, it'll be announced at MWC, and uh, that's also something else. So yeah, 
any Christmas lights on your plan or getting parts up uh, of your house? Uh, so we do have some Christmas lights outside and stuff like that, but uh, we do not have a Christmas tree yet. And it's just because the construction is really kind of taken over. So yeah, it's just, it's been a whole thing for sure. All right, guys. Um, I think we're going to get wrapping up. I hopefully did enjoy that kind of, again, since we didn't have much to talk about in terms of news, we did top uh, tech of 2022. Um, and if we don't have much uh, for next week, maybe I'll do like the top apps of 2022. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in it as always. Uh, it's, you know, going to be a whole thing over the next few weeks. Uh, Next week, we will have a, a mobile weekly. So for the 18th, we will have a mobile weekly. Uh, for the 25th, no, you know, it's Christmas. I'm going to be with the family. So I won't be doing mobile weekly on the 25th. Um, and then, who? For New Year's, I will do a mobile weekly. I will do a mobile weekly for New Year's Day uh, because I will not do one for the 8th. So we'll do mobile weekly next week, not on the 25th. On the first New Year's Day, we'll do Mobile Weekly. And then on the 8th, we will not because I will be um, coming back from CES probably pretty tired because I'm going to be working seven days straight. Uh, so that will be a whole endeavor. But yeah, should be better. All right. All right, guys. Uh, that will be everything for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully the stream went okay. I'm doing my old laptop, so I know it sometimes had issues or lag issues. But hopefully I'm picking up my laptop from Best Buy tomorrow. So hopefully they'll tell me it's all good and set and ready to go. And then I can be back with my new laptop. Thank you guys always so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you can, before you leave, please hit the like, thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.